Ladies and gentlemen, if I can get this on. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my high honor and privilege to welcome the President of the United States of America to Tuskegee University on the occasion of our spring commencement exercises and the dedication of the General Daniel Chapa James Center for Aerospace Science and Health Education. As you know from the title of the building, we have captured in this one facility the two career goals of General James when he attended Tuskegee University. His academic major was physical education, health education, and he completed primary flight training at Tuskegee's Milton Field during World War II. As we graduate some fine young people from the university today, they can find an outstanding example in the contribution and service of a Tuskegee alumnus whose memory we honor through the dedication of this splendid facility. We thank you, Mr. President, for your support, without which this facility would not have been possible. We are grateful for the role that all the members of your administration uh, have played in making the support we needed for this building possible. We are pleased to welcome you to Tuskegee University. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Payton. It's an honor for me to dedicate this aerospace science and health education center to the memory of one of Tuskegee's finest and one of America's best, General Daniel Chappie, Chappie James. Chappie James was a hero of three wars. He flew 101 combat missions in Korea, where at one point he force landed behind enemy lines, and 78 combat missions over North Vietnam. Nearby, we can see, we just came by one of the jet player planes that he flew in Vietnam. He rose through the ranks of the United States Air Force in the Military Airlift Command and the North American Air Defense Command. As commander of NORAD, all America depended on his judgment and his courage for our defense and survival. Chappie's mother told him at a young age that there was an 11th commandment, thou shalt not quit. He took that to heart, and Chappie James is one of the very few officers ever to attain the rank of four-star general. He had four stars on his shoulder and 50 stars in his heart. Chappie James was an unabashed patriot. His expressions of affection and dedication to the cause of freedom stirred the hearts of his countrymen. He loved America, and America loved Chappie James. This unique individual began his career here at Tuskegee. This is where he earned his degree. This is where he trained young men how to fly and how to fight. And these warriors put his lessons to good use, destroying 261 enemy aircraft and wrecking destruction and havoc upon the enemy. They served their country with valor and distinction. As you may be aware, in 1944, I narrated a film about the Duskegee Airmen. I was presently in uniform serving with the Army Air Corps at the time, but my past occupation caught up with me, and I was given the opportunity to do that narration. And I'm, I'm proud that in a small way, I was able to contribute to the change in climate that gained public acceptance for black pilots. And with us today is Air Force General Bernard Randolph, who I've nominated to receive his fourth star. His contributions to America today are possible because of men like Chappie James and the Tuskegee Airmen. The lessons Chappie taught the Tuskegee Airmen were of great service to our country. Today, it's most fitting, then, that we dedicate this center to carry on that spirit. The James Center will help train young men and women in the discipline of aerospace, science, and health education. And we expect from the ranks of these students will come young leaders who will follow the proud traditions of this university. Men and women who will be a lasting tribute to Chappie James and all that he stood for. Chappie who fought in war and in peace to make this a better, freer country once said, this is my nation. I love her, 
if I see Miss Liberty ill, I'll hold her hand. If she is in the hospital, I'll bring her roses. Well, now, let his spirit hold the hand of these students and guide them through the challenges of higher education and through the frustrations of life. I am most proud to dedicate this center in honor of a darn good pilot and a revered military officer and a truly great American. I'm not going to take any questions now on things like that. We're here for a different purpose. And uh, let's just for a few moments decide that there's enough controversy and we'll leave it in Washington for today. How about the
government is doing an unprecedented six and a half billion dollars in business with them. Black entrepreneur company Arthur Paul received his bachelor's and master's in engineering from Howard University and his doctorate from the University of Virginia. As our country moves into the 21st century, it's critical citizens. Our administration is moving aggressively at a number of fronts. We have an agenda that is aimed not only at overcoming the problems of today, but also preparing the ground for black economic independence in the technology. It is what the man or woman can do. Well, well, our new training program, back in 1944, in the midst of that great conflict, I narrated a film about these brave pilots. I can't tell you how proud I am to be an honorary Tuskegee Airman. The strength of our military is that it is one of the most successfully integrated institutions in the country, an open door of opportunity to all citizens. Over 10% of the Army's officers are black, as are 34% of its sergeants. Blacks are in more positions of management.